In today's video, we're building a harbor town. Or at least we're starting one. Welcome to a new episode on the single player world, where in today's episode, as I said before, we will be starting the town that we laid out last week. Before we start building any houses, I kind of wanted to start by filling in the harbor lines that we have created in the last episode. I started by taking down a chunk of land and sand at the edge of the harbor. After that, we went on and added some stone brick to the side to create a wall that is even with the floor that we have. Then filling in the floor with a mixture of cobblestone, tough and mossy cobblestone so that we get a weathered walkway. Now with the first walkway done, I kind of decided to do a similar one, just lower near the water so that we have an easier way for, to get from the pier heads to the upper docks. <music> I then proceeded to use some spruce logs and slabs to create four pier heads, making them a bit longer than I usually would because either I want a big ship more to them or we could have space for a few smaller ships as well. And now that we have our pier heads and walkway done, we can move on to the first houses to be built in the city. I want to start with the big one over here, which is going to be our harbor master. Using some dark oak logs and stripping them along the way, I framed out the building to be two story tall. Then came back with some normal terracotta and filled in the walls. I did the same for the extra building on the side. And then I decided to add three little compartments behind the building to use as an extra storage facility. I started framing out the roof with some dark oak slabs and stairs using some fill blocks as well and then came in with a mixture of warp planks and prismarine bricks to finish off the roof. I added in some white stained glass as well with a bay window looking over the harbor so that the harbor master does have a good view of his territory. And now the only thing I have to do is repeat this three more times. The structures are in there, but now we have to add in some details. All right, and this is what we get. This is what we have right now. It's pretty much what I want this entire dock to look like, or at least this entire district. So we're gonna have that teal roof going on. We have different hues though. We've got a light teal roof. We've got darker ones, ones that copper ages. It'll be pretty nice as well. Now, one more thing that I wanna do before actually start building the entire city is I want to make a better smelter because the one at the starter village does not do the trick. I have this little area below here that now houses a lot of vines, but that's perfect to put a super smelter as well. Now, I do have to prepare some terrain, so we're going to take out a bit of water. We're going to dig that little outcrop right there back a bit 
so that we can actually put one of the bigger ones up here and hopefully that will serve as well okay we have a little space dug out right here and i think it's gonna be plenty for what we want to do So the smelter is in place and it is working, it is functioning, we're smelting some glass at the moment. Not all the furnaces have coal in them or at least are not filled up yet. I still am in dire need for some more coal, but I'll do that on a stream someday. The problem is that my replay mods decided to crash mid uh, construction of this build. But if you want to know how it's built and, and what you have to do to get one of these, it, it is a design by Chapman and I'll post a link in the description. I for one still have to deal with a lot of water at the other side of this build. So, uh, we have a floor right now. We still have to do the back wall, but for now, I'll leave it like this. I want to just put something in front of the mess that is, well, the smelter over here. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to take some sprues, which is always a good choice. And we're just going to have a simple like window almost over here I don't mind seeing the hoppers and stuff the the biggest problem that I have with stuff like this is well the dirt which if it's behind glass I'm fine with it but I don't want it like open and with a hint of white dye and some glow ink we have our interface which is pretty cool. I still like that it's that you can actually see like the redstone behind it. I might clean up the dirt once we have some houses going because I want to see how how high it can go. But for now we have a functioning super smelter and it's pretty quick as I said before. Like I can load in okay, let's try. I can load in two stacks of sand. And we should see the minecart taken off in like a second. There it goes. So that's already already going. And it'll loop all the way around. As I said, these furnaces have no coal yet. So those are not going to light up. But that does make it so that I think there it is. And we were already getting glass. And... Super fast, super fast. I'm, I'm actually very happy with it. For now, I think I've run out of time to do extra building. So I'm going to end the video right here. We had a productive one. We had four buildings built. Plus, we had this entire place done. If you liked it, subscribe and leave a like. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.